So yeah, uh, for those of you not aware, Blizzard announced that they will be releasing uh, classic World of Warcraft servers, so the vanilla servers. No, no indicate, or they haven't said like how close it's going to be to the original release. I imagine, unless they want to piss off the universe and have their you know offices bombed by angry neckbeards from the universe over. Um, that they're going to be sticking very close to the original model. Like, here's the thing. If they deviate too much from the original model, um, I I will lose interest. And I'm, you know, I'm pretty... Le I'm a pretty easygoing guy about stuff. But if I were to play, I would want the vanilla experience. Um, like, I, there is no other reason why I would ever consider playing World of Warcraft at this point. Um... And I was talking about how, generally speaking, as a streaming, er, for streaming, MMOs outside of, unless it's your thing, um, they just don't tend to be very good for streaming. Because they just they sit there and grind, there's not much to it usually. Um, so you, you can certainly fall into those niches, like there are people who do that. Um... For example, uh, I know a guy, another Vancouver guy, who just, he seems to have actually gotten a pretty decent audience streaming um, the Light, or not, it's the Light's Hope server, I think, on um, the Elysium private servers. Those are the vanilla private servers. Uh, and, and he's doing quite well with that. So, I mean, there is, you know, viewers to be made and whatever and all that. Um, but, are they updating the graphics? I don't think so. I just hope it isn't as clunky. See, that's the point. Like, it's supposed to be clunky like Old World of Warcraft. If it's not clunky like Old World of Warcraft, it's not Old World of Warcraft. That's Modern World of Warcraft. You know, it's like that fungus thing. You know, uh, Old World of Warcraft is the ant, the ant skin, and New World of Warcraft is the fungus inside controlling the, uh, the ant skin. Um, but anyway... Uh, so, so, old World of Warcraft. No announcement when that's happening. So, assuming... Um, you know, assuming they release it in a state that... Um, yeah, the ant thing again. Um, it's released in, in, a, in a state that A, I find satisfying, and B, everyone else finds good, and like, oh, it's old World of Warcraft. Um, I don't know no announcement when they're doing this either. I'm not sure. I'm considering it may be a possibility. I might break that whole no MMO. Well, it's not true. I don't have a no MMO rule, necessarily. I, I have streamed old EverQuest in the past, just because I find it amusing. I've streamed it several times, in fact. Um... And not necessarily even as an avenue to grow the stream or anything. Just something interesting to do. Uh, because as I was saying, this is how we initially got on this topic, is that I was saying when I, I've always thought that had streaming existed when I first played World of Warcraft back in, I guess when I was raiding, it must have been 2005 by then, like, you know, the really hardcore raiding stuff. I think that would have been really cool, like pushing the envelope of like what people have done into, well, that's not true. People had already done the raids that I had done, but we were like very cutting edge in terms of like, we were up there in terms of progress. Um, so we, I think we were like the second top rating guild on our server. So, you know, there was that whole schedule. We were very serious about getting stuff that well, some of us were serious about getting shit done. Um, obviously it was 40 man raids, so there was room for chaff. Um, but they just, that's the, actually the other thing I really like with the 40 man raids is you knew who was good. There was room for the trash, basically, or the filler people. They weren't trash. Well, some of them were trash, but there was certainly room for filler even in like the larger kind of more serious guilds but you knew who was good you knew who the damage chart toppers were you know who the good tanks were you knew who the good healers were um and those guys would like really do their job and like ensure that the um uh progress is being made and the new raid bosses would, would go down they just had their shit in order uh so i'd like that but anyway getting back to the original point uh, I always thought, uh, when, you know, since I started streaming, that had that existed at the time, I think that would have been a really cool thing to stream. Uh, I think that could have, you know, in an alternate universe where streaming technology had been made available to the masses 
uh, like six years earlier, or at least you know available to people like me who are interested in doing it six years earlier, that could have been my start as a streamer, um, as like an early molten core raider sort of thing. Come play on live or what? World of Warcraft? No, I don't want to play. I, I'm not paying for a subscription right now. I'm not really interested in, in like modern World of Warcraft. Um, I, I realize old World of Warcraft is a lot of nostalgia, but here's the thing, nostalgia is still amusing. It doesn't matter that I'm consciously, you know, I recognize the fact that it's nostalgia that so makes it so amusing, but... Oh, League of Legends? Ew, what the hell's wrong with you? Get off my stream. Someone take mod mod powers away from Mad Cool. Mm -hmm. You know, it's just... You know, it's like saying to someone who's drunk, you know, you're only having a good time because you're drunk, but you're like, yeah, but I'm drunk, so I don't care. I'm still having a good time. Um, but at the same time, there's also kind of a very interesting quality to the older MMOs. In their kind of... And here's the thing, World of Warcraft doesn't even go as far as the older ones. It's very intermediary in terms of ease of use um, and streamlined stuff. You could... It, it, I don't want to make the, a definitive statement out of this, but it probably was the first MMO that was, like, that streamlined and that geared towards a very specific kind of crafted, like, tailored um, progression experience. Uh, there were probably some examples that... There were, there were examples that were trying that before that, but, you know, it's the modern MMO mold. But at the same time, it still had elements of that older thing where a lot of stuff in the game was still pointless. It was very kind of... It, it had a very sort of uh, charming world quality about it. Like, there was finer details. It, it was it was still, I would say, a world... Well, it was about 50-50 at that point. But it, it, it had considerations, at least, that it was a world first and a game second, if that makes sense. Even though it was very heavily starting to go into that game direction of things. Whereas, a better example of that is, for example, EverQuest was a world first and a game second. Like, older MMOs tended to have that quality more. Um, and World of Warcraft still retains some of that. So that that's sort of the idea I like in these older MMOs. Plus, they were also, they just took a shit ton of time to, like, get anywhere with. You know. I still find those sort of, like, those sorts of older grind... You know, you gotta sit there doing things for a million years sorts of games. They, they they have their place. I still find them amusing. 